All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, getting into the comments today, gonna finally be installing the SP Lab intake, um, throttle body delete. I already have a pusher style on this truck, um, but SP Lab was nice enough to reach out. And uh, there's no issues with the pusher that I have on it. It's actually pretty nice, but there's obviously some other ones out there that look a little bit better, more appealing. Um, probably open up a little bit more because the pusher has like two... Um, styles for the input but sp lab was nice enough to reach out they sent me their um intake horn with their egr delete block off plates for the throttle body and a couple other things like that so i actually already have the horn installed with the throttle body delete and it looks sick um i have all the plugs and stuff and i'm going to show you one thing um looked good i have no complaints but guys before we hop into the video as always, there's always going to be merch below. Anything that you purchase makes a huge difference on the channel. Um, also, views. They always say once you get to 10,000, getting to 100,000 is easier. I'm trying to get to 10,000. So let's get there. We're halfway, 5,000, halfway through the year. I'd like to get to that point by the end. So if you haven't subscribed and you're watching, it's free. Just go ahead and subscribe to the video and we'll go from there. Let me show you guys this intake horn and we'll go from there. I'd set this on a rubber rug in my garage here so I don't scratch it up. Um, not that it's not going to get scratched in its life, but this thing is sick. So if you would hypothetically just order the intake horn itself, you do have a choice to add the heater coil right here. I have their grid heater delete plate as well, so I don't need that. But all these are different um, bungs for you to go ahead and use for whatever you'd like. Boost gauge, um, whatever else you'd like to plumb into these. And they're already and they do bottom out. So like, if you're wondering if you can thread them all the way through, you can't, which is very nice. Their throttle body delete here, pretty sick. And as well, you can see the opening. So the opening's obviously ginormous. Um, I'll say this guys, this thing looks sick. Like that's mainly why I did it. I'll show you guys what the engine bay looks like, but I got this because of how good this thing looks. I think this looks really good compared to the pusher style. So let me go ahead and show you that. We'll get into installing this. There is a little trick. Um, it does come with instructions. I don't really need the instructions, um, but there is a little trick to do something because, oh, let me not drop this here with one hand. This bolt hole right here goes on the inside of the plenum doesn't say to use blue Loctite. I highly recommend you use blue Loctite. The reason is, is because if that comes out and goes down into your motor, it's over. So that's really the only trick I have. Let me show you what the pusher style looks like and let's, uh, let's get into this. So this is my current setup. I've had this for, man, I don't know, two years, I guess, maybe potentially more. Everybody that's wondering if you're like, got one of these off of eBay and everybody's like, oh, they're dog, they're trash. Don't do that, blah, blah. I had this thing for three years and I haven't had a single problem with it at all. Um, I'll, when I take it off, I will show you the two ports. You see the two that are coming out of there. Um, that would be, I would say you're getting a little bit more airflow with the SP Lab one versus this one. But I've also had no issues with this one. So I might just throw this on the bench for maybe a later project. All right, guys, removing this, you probably have more time in, uh, drop the clamp there. Probably have more time in getting tools and getting on top of this on your creeper or whatever you're doing than actually. So I'm gonna reuse this gasket um, as I'm talking, but super easy guys. They're all 10 millimeter. Six of them right there. The only one's a little tricky by the shield line, but you just feed down through the top right there. Good to go. Your intercooler boot right here, 11 millimeter. That's gonna be your coupler. And then this thing's gonna slide out. So like I was telling you about this, this has like two ports on the inside. Um, the only thing I'm gonna have to transfer is a little sensor over, but you can see the other one is well, SP Labs is well more open than this one. Now it still does feed um, the two into one, but I would imagine the SP Labs gonna flow a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that one. And uh, let's go ahead and get it on, show you guys what it looks like. And it's gonna be obviously the same reverse order. Um, they do provide new gaskets and everything, but that gasket works perfectly fine, so I have no reason to do anything too crazy. While I'm talking and while I'm in the engine bay, guys, I do got some powder coating stuff coming, and this line that I've been telling you guys, focus, is finally going bye-bye. 
your valve cover with all the goods underneath that. And that breather right there, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on if I regretted doing the CCV gut or not, which, spoiler, I kind of did. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. Let's get back into this. Uh, let's go ahead and get I realized in my video, I forgot to mention, this first fuel line has to go. Um, they send you a replacement one. And while I'm talking to, I was transferring the map sensor over and that thing was pretty cruddy looking. So I did spend a little bit of time cleaning that up. So just kind of keep that in mind for whenever you get to uh, do this point. So guys, uh, box wrench, 19 millimeter. Um, yeah, gonna take this line off real quick. I'm gonna need both hands. I'm gonna cover that hole up cause it's gonna get a little bit of fuel out of here. Not too much, not that it would matter, but you know, better safe than sorry. So let me crack this line, get this out of here and we'll go from there. All right, don't want you guys to like overthink this stuff. This is the new bent line that SBE Lab provides. Um, if you've never messed with the fuel lines, this one goes to your rail, this one goes to your cylinder head. So they do come with two little tabs to make sure that nothing gets in there. And so it's literally just going to pop in just like this and I think I have somebody outside my house. Give me one second. All right, sorry about that. Did have somebody outside of my house. So, anyway. Let's do... Ugh. Try not to knock the camera over while I do this. Okay. That's, uh, you definitely don't cross thread. Like, this doesn't feel the best right now. With me trying to feed that into the head. So I'm gonna... <laughs> Before my camera fell, um, <clears throat> guys, I'm going to be 100% transparent. This line does not fit the best. It's not like the worst thing in the world, but you kind of got to like, compared to the OEM one, you kind of got to like finagle it a little bit to uh, get it to fit how you want it to. So um, I didn't have to bend it. I did read somewhere. Actually, it's the video that they share on their website that the guy had to bend this a little bit. I didn't bend it, but I definitely used some pressure to get it into spot. So I just started it without the intake horn on just to make sure I didn't have any fuel leaks, which I don't. So that's a good thing. Um, but keep that in mind, the supplied line right here takes a little bit of force to get it to where it needs to go. So the rest should be cake. I mean, this should be seconds to go back together now, but um, that line Definitely took a little bit of force. So keep that in mind. So keep moving All on. All right, guys, got it in. Um, man, not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. That fuel line in the back, you kind of have to like rock the horn um, back to where you can get it. Once you get one of the bolts in, kind of just feeds itself in, but it is uh, a little bit of a task. And I will say this, this little Allen key, this long thing that they uh, give you, Man, that actually makes it way, way easier. So at this point, um, I have a block off plate I need to put up top here. Um, need to bolt the dipstick tube to it. I need to put the intercooler boot in and then we're gonna go for a ride. I will say this thing looks way better than the pusher. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I, I hope I don't have any leaks. We'll find out. Um, it should be pretty easy to find out. You'll, uh, you'll notice your truck runs a little off or a lot of times it'll actually just throw a code. So, but that thing looks, cannot wait to get the billet valve cover. I'm actually thinking I'm going to powder coat this a different color. Um, we'll see though, once we get to that point, my top hose here, when that comes, you guys will know the rest of the color of the bay. I know it's been done a lot, but I just really like it. So we'll, we'll save that for the next video, but so far the horn guys looking pretty tough. I'm not going to surface that's great um i thought theirs looked really good they sent me a black one so that was kind of like a little a little bit of a perk in a way um 
the intake horn that I just got is really good. It's uh, it has an it has a port for your coil if you want to make sure that you still run your grid heater. Obviously, I would have never did the grid heater to the lead plate, um, but you can do both. That's kind of the nice part about this kit. You can have both options. I decided to not go that route. My truck, I've started it at negative six and it's done just fine and I'm only on one battery. I know a lot of people, uh, they got a bunch of different, mine starts fine. It like, it gets a little pissed per se, but it's not upset. The horn itself, very nice product. I actually really like the horn. I think it looks really good. Um, when I powder coat it, I think it's even gonna look better. The fuel line was my only complaint really. Um, it just needed like, to be bent like maybe a half of an inch and then you wouldn't have had to fight the intake horn to get it back against it and they probably would have threaded in a little bit easier um outside of that no complaints no nothing sp labs appreciate you guys cannot wait to collab more do some more content together um guys all their stuff's going to be down in my description 15 percent off if you followed this far i got a code for 15 percent off on all sp labs products so this exact kit you can get over a hundred dollars off check it out in the description support those who support you quest to ten thousand boys